Hey guys, Zerox here, and we just finished adding QuakeCraft stats to the Libra bot. Now, that's a bit of a lie. It's been about a week or two since I've added it. I'm just now getting around to this video. But uh, here it is. It's the tutorial video for QuakeCraft stats. Now, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I develop a bot by myself using community input for what you guys want, community feedback. Uh, generates the board, just like you can see here on screen. Now, every game mod gets its own custom background, gets its own custom list of several leaderboards. Some games get as low as five because they weren't blessed by the API, but some game modes are on track to have well over 100 leaderboards just for the one game mode. So we do try and take as much advantage of the API as we can. However, there are some limitations just due to the API. Now, if you want access to a spot, uh, there's only one place we can currently find it, and it's in my uh, personal Discord, which you can find in the description. You'll see a link to join our Discord. You can join and get access to the spot. Uh, I do have plans to make a public bot in the future that you can add to any server you want. However, it's still in, devel it's still in development. So until we've got a comfortable amount of leaderboards and no more bugs at all, I don't want to really make it public. I want to keep it private a little bit. But it's always available every single day throughout the day on my Discord. So you can go ahead and check that out in the description below. Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to use the bot. There's two main aspects of the bot. There's adding people and updating people. And then there's actually using the leaderboards and which leaderboards you can use and how to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that now. Uh, if you want to use the bot in my Discord specifically, there's three channels you can use it in. You can use it in commands, you can use it in commands 2, commands 3. All right, these are the three places you can use the spot in. Let me show you guys how to add people here. So let's say I wanted to add myself, all right? Uh, I wanted to add the account system. We're going to start by using the stats command. Now, the prefix for our bot is asterisk or the star symbol. Do S for stats. You can also write stats, but... That's just boring, so we're going to use asterisk s space, and then you're going to write the person's name. So this is the name of the account that I want to add or potentially try and add to the leaderboards. And then you're just going to write Quake because the game that we care about is Quake, so we're going to write Quake. You can write QuakeCraft, however, that's a mouthful to just say and to type it out. It's twice as long, so why would you? So we're just going to write Quake. That's the shorthand that you guys have for Quake. Quake craft. Uh, we're going to press enter. Now, there one of two things that are going to happen when you do this. It just can delete a message and say nothing. That's a good thing. That means it worked. If it doesn't do that, then it's going to give you an error saying what you did wrong. Now, there's two potential things that you did wrong. You'll see there's three parts of the command. You either completely mess up the command and your error code just won't pop up. You just make sure you don't mess up that part. Invalid name. This is very common. I see some people will be like, hey, why does it say invalid name? This is a valid name. So it needs to be a valid name in Hypixel's database, which means it has to be the current name, the, the most current, most recent name that someone has used uh, when they were on Hypixel. So if I use the name System, I play Hypixel, and I quit Hypixel forever, and while I'm playing on other servers, I change my name. You need to check, you, the IG need to put here is the name I last used on Hypixel, okay? Not the name that I currently have. So just make sure you're doing that. So if you have a friend or something, or you know someone who played back in like 2017 and you want to add his stats, you got to put the name that he used before he quit. And then uh, Quake, if you mess up writing your own game modes uh, thing, well, that's that's on you, man. Don't know what to say. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, so that happens. Now, if you want to update someone on the leaderboards, it's the exact same thing. If I wanted to update Govo here, I would do stats Govo Quake, just like so. You can only update someone every 15 minutes. Now, if you try and update someone before 15 minutes, I can show you here, I just updated Govo. If I do it again, it won't actually tell you anything different. Uh, it'll just only update every 15 minutes. So if you see it's not updating, maybe you got to wait a little longer, man. Now, uh, for leaderboards. I'll show you guys how to do this. The format for leaderboards, I'll go for it real quick. You're going to do star LB, or you can write out leaderboard or leaderboards, whatever you want. Uh, or not necessarily whatever you want, but there are many other options. But this is the easiest one. You're going to do star LB space, and we're going to do quick, because that's the game mode we want to get leaderboards for. That's the game mode that this video is going to be focused towards. Uh, and then you want to do the type of leaderboard. So the type of leaderboard is what we'll get into in a second here. But an example is just wins. Just overall wins. There you go. Uh, that's the current win leaderboard. You can see Gobo has got quite the lead there. In second place, we've got as if. And then uh, everybody else sort of sprinkles down into the 20 or so thousands. Now let's go into what are the leaderboards you can actually take a look at. So I'm going to open this up here. You guys should be able to see this. These are all the leaderboards you guys get for QuakeCraft. This is an, an absurd amount of leaderboards. 
Now I'm going to go over some restrictions and some more in-depth stuff in a second here. But just note all these in this QuickCraft section here, these are all available leaderboards for QuickCraft. So what we're going to do is let's say we want to get tournament headshots, okay? You're just going to get exactly this, okay? So this left half here. So if you want to look at this, anytime you, you're like, hmm, what are some leaderboards I haven't looked at yet? Come back to this video, okay? Come to this timestamp and look on the left side, okay? Ignore the right side. This is just coding stuff, yeah? And ignore this. This is also coding stuff. We're just going to take this little part between the quotation marks and we can go back. I can show you if we go back on the Discord. LB, Quake, boom, tournament headshots. And what will happen? Oh, there we go. It takes a minute sometimes because... Uh, uh, sometimes my computer lags a little bit. However, uh, generally it doesn't take nearly that long. And so, yeah, there you go. These are QuickCraft tournament headshots. So someone who played in a tournament and they got headshots, this is how many they got. Uh, yeah. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys are some requirements. Now, not everybody you add to the leaderboard is going to meet all the requirements to be on our leaderboards. If I go ahead and show you guys this here. These are our minimum stats for QuakeCraft. So if you have one of these stats, you're good for that leaderboard. But if you don't have the stat, you're not good for that particular leaderboard. So just because I have enough kills uh, to meet the kills leaderboard work, uh, requirement doesn't mean I'm going to be on the death leaderboard and vice versa. And not making one of them doesn't mean you're taking off of all of them. You, you, you're you still going to be on the leaderboards that you qualify for. So these are all the general stats. And then here we've got all the solo stats, all the teams mode stats, and all the tournament stats and their requirements. You'll see the tournament stats are really low. That's because limited amount of games for tournament. I think it was like 72 or something like that. I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, so there's that. Uh, ignore all the other stuff. That's just for coding. Um, as your requirements, if you're not on a leaderboard that you want to be on, it's because you're not hitting the requirement or you haven't checked your stats yet. That's on you. Uh, one last thing I want to show you guys before the end of this video. I'm trying to keep it as short as possible, but it's a little difficult with how much there is to show. Uh, we do have multiple pages. So let's say we want to get tournament headshots. Page two. Very easy. We are just going to do a two at the end like that. Add a space, add a two. Boom, page two. You want to get page a thousand. We don't have a thousand pages. But what we will do is we'll give you the highest page that has people on it. So right now for Quake... We've got 50 people on the tournament headshots leaderboard. Uh, so, yeah, you'll at the very least, you're guaranteed to get some people show up. And it'll also show you what the max amount of people on the leaderboard is, the max page. So the max page for this is like page five or something, I guess. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, I believe it's, it'll be page five. Why is my computer so laggy right now? I think it's because I'm recording. Uh, anyways, that's been it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below at the bottom of this video if you're watching on YouTube or if you're on the form thread watching this. Go leave a co uh, comment on the form thread, and uh, hopefully I should get back to you within a day or two. Obviously, if you're watching this one or two years in the future, I probably won't get back to you at all. Uh, maybe. Who knows? Uh, give it a try. Anyways, uh, I've been Zerxy60. Hopefully, you guys like this leaderboard. Hopefully, you guys like the leaderboards. Uh, if you have any feedback for leaderboards, please, you can join the Discord and leave a suggestion or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.